uh, I would like you to open your page 70 and here we go into unit 2. Unit 2. There is a face sheet here. There is a picture given in page number 17. Please look into the picture, go through the picture and uh, I will ask some questions uh, according to this picture, related to this picture and answer. First, uh, look into the picture once. Now, what do you observe, Karun, in this picture? Dogs. Dogs are okay. Hands. Hands. Children. Children. Grandmother. Okay, very good. Okay. Father. Father. Grandfather. Okay. Grandfather. There are birds. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, can somebody tell me one sentence about this picture? The family and their pets. The family and their, their pets. pets. Very good. Now, here, do you have pets in your home? Do you have pets in your home? Yes. yes. Who have pets here? Yes, please, your hand. Who all have pets in your home? Very good. Something. What pet do you have? Hands. Hands you have. And uh, okay, Prithvi. Dog. Dogs you have. And uh, yeah, Surina Raina. Cat. You have cat. Very good. Uh, yes. Dogs. You have dogs. Okay. Are you comfortable with your pets? Yes. Do you feel happy? Yes. And uh, Akshaya, do you treat them friendly? Yes, madam, I treat my friends pets friendly. Uh, pets uh, friendly. So Akshaya, take the pet uh, to walk, chain the uh, chain your dog and take it to your walk along with you. And okay, uh, can you tell me some strange animals which we never see regularly? Lion, tiger, lion, tiger, elephant. All these are strange things. If you see, if you happen to face a strange animal, will you go near them? No, no madam. Man. Will you go? No, no madam. Okay, tell me one strange animal which is in your surroundings which you see snakes. 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 You see snakes. If you see snakes, will you go near the snake? No, no madam. As the extra fish come down, I take you to home. Do you tell like that? No, no madam. Why? Why do you go? Why don't you go to the near? Go near the snake. Uh, the snake is poisonous. Very good. The snake is poisonous. And look at this. It bites us. Ah, it bites us. It, the snake will bites us. It is not a pet animal. Is it a pet animal? No. no. Okay, Sai, tell me one more, one more reason. It is harmful. Very good. It is harmful. harmful. Now, yeah, Sai and uh, Durga Prasad gave wonderful answers. The snakes are poisonous. The snakes are harmful. And the snakes bites us. So, we don't go to snakes. We don't go near the snakes. snakes. Very good. Now, tell me. If, if anybody play with the snake? No, no ma'am. Just think anybody play with the snake. Is there anybody play with the snake? Make the snake dance? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Make the snake dance. Yes, where, do you see, where do you see the snake making dance? Uh, dance? Street performances. Ah, street performances. Yes. Street performances. They make the snake dance. Can, we, can you tell me some street performances, Akshaya? Monkey, ah. they monkey dance. Ah, they make the monkey dance. dance. You, they make the snake dance. They make the snake dance. Bhavani, circus, circus. All this comes under street performances. Ah, what do we call the person who make dance a snake in the street? The snake charmer. What do we call? Snake charmer. Snake charmer. What the snake charmer do means to dance in the street. Dance in the street. street. Now let us go into the lesson. Page number 18 and I would like you to open page number 18. What is the title of the lesson? The Snake Charmer. So the Snake Charmer. Now you have an idea what this lesson is about. Maybe what? Guess what? Ema yunta di lesson. Yavar gurin chil. Snake Charmer. That means in this lesson who will be there? A Snake Charmer and a Snake. Very good side. The Snake Charmer and the Snake. Once upon a time, there lived a snake charmer in Iraq. He, he caught different kinds of snakes and made them dance in bazaars for his livelihood. As the days went on, it became very common to the town people. They lost interest in these street performances. Thus, the snake charmer chose to go into the harsh and snowy, snowy mountains, looking for new sorts of snakes. 
he wanted to display them to the town people and thereby raise a few coppers from the spectators. Very good, very good. Any other can read this? Ah, yes, sir. Once upon a time, they lived in a snake charmer in Iraq. He cut different kinds of snakes and made them dance in bazaars for his livelihood. As the days went on, it became very common to the town people. The lost interest in the in these street performances does 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 make charmer to to go into the house and snowy mountains looking for new sorts of snakes. He wanted to display them to the town people and thereby take a few coppers from the spectators. Very good, very good, very nice. Okay, now let me read this for you. The snake charmer. I would like you to take a pencil and underline those words which are difficult to understand. And if you like something, if you like something, put a star mark there. If the word is difficult to un uh, understand, underline the word. Okay. Now, if you don't understand, put a question mark there in the sentence or phrase. Once upon a time, there lived a snake charmer in Iraq. He caught different kinds of snakes and made them dance in bazaars of for his livelihood. As the days went on, it became very common to the town people. They lost interest in these street performances. Thus, the snake charmer chose to go into the harsh and snowy mountains looking for new sorts of snakes. He wanted to display them to the town people and thereby raise a few coppers from the spectators. Now, I, uh, I would like to discuss this in your groups. Your bench is one group, your bench is one group and your bench is one group. Just read it and discuss and then tell me what you understood from this paragraph. Okay? Right. Glossary to get the meanings and uh, by discussing you look at this board, the glossary. What is the display? What is the meaning of display? To show something to people. To show something to people. And here second one is coppers. Coppers means meaning? Brown points, Anybody? Uh, yes. He went to the. He went to the heart of 
snowy mountain mm. in search of new class and new kind of of snakes snakes very good he went to the snowy and harsh mountains this one is very important where did he go to search new kinds of snakes he went to the snowy harsh mountains in search of new kinds of birds now uh, i asked you in the beginning to underline some difficult words which you don't understand can you tell me which words are the, which words did you understand did you underline uh, some children tell me which words did you underline caught uh, caught next bazaars bazaars harsh harsh any other okay now see look at this chart here the keywords caught and bazaar and harsh harsh what is the meaning of caught caught means what is the meaning of caught here capture or hold to catch something and to hold something is called the caught this is the present past tense of a catch past tense of catch yeah how can we use this word we had it caught a single rabbit we had it caught a single rabbit and we mock the rabbit ni kuda memo pattuko laga poyamu and and second one is bazaar bazaar means a market in the middle east Bazaar means a market in the Middle East. And the Malaysian continent, the African continent, the market center. What ni? Bazaar center. What do we do in the bazaars? I, yeah. I I went to bazaar to buy groceries. Groceries. I went to bazaar to buy groceries. Next, what is this? Harsh. Harsh means unpleasantly.
because it became daily it is going and performing it become common to the people so they lost interest and this is the third point cut cut what is the fourth point next point people lost interest next choose to go into the harsh and snowy mountains looking for new sorts of snakes very good he choose to go to harsh snowy mountains for to get some new sorts of snakes to make them perform with the snakes very good is there for the town people and raise few money for the spectacle he want to display this new sorts of snakes which he got from harsh snowy mountains and perform make them dance in the streets and get some more money so this is the last point points which we learned from today paragraph we came to a conclusion that the snake charmer will be regard and second one he made the snake dance in the bazaar for his livelihood and people lost interest in the performances because it became common to the people and next he chose to go to the snow harsh and snowy mountains to get new sorts of snakes and then he wanted to display them to the town people and make some more money for from the spectators for his livelihood this is the um, first paragraph of from snake charmer lessons children tomorrow you have to uh, go through the second paragraph and uh, come with a new words which which are underlined and today's new words keywords learn today's keywords okay thank you very much